Hello and welcome to Get the Puck, Move the Puck, Shoot the Puck Hockey series, an introduction to coaching winning hockey. In this video, we are going to look at basic one-on-one -on -one defensive zone positioning. Who should check the player with the puck? The answer is simple for all players to understand. The closest player to the puck always initiates the check. It prevents the opposing player from using extra time to look for teammates and make a play. The closest player is responsible for separating the puck from the player. Knowing this eliminates confusion for your players. The defensive player, C, in diagram 9, must keep the opposing player to the outside. This is achieved by staying between the player and the net. Be patient, because the defensive player has the advantage. The player on the outside with the puck will have to try and score from the outside, which is difficult to do. Using the poke check, knock the puck off the player's stick, or if body contact is allowed, pin the player on the boards, removing him or her from the play. When the defensive player, C, has separated the puck from the opposing player, they have fulfilled their responsibility, or done their job. Another supporting player must pick up the puck pursuit from there. It is important for coaches to let players know they have done a good job as it builds their confidence. Please see diagram 10 to see the advantage of having a defensive zone plan. Thank you for watching.